currently uh, charged with aggravated assault and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. More charges may be coming. Uh, I do feel it's important to point out that uh, right now, as of this stage of the investigation, it appears that this was likely an incident of road rage. Okay. Uh, and can you say what time, like, you guys received the call about this incident? We received the original call at about 12.40, so shortly after lunch. Okay. And can you kind of talk about uh, how, the, uh, how the arrest took place? We had actually developed a suspect and, and were able to obtain arrest warrants and search warrants. Um, we were uh, in the stages of securing the residents to do the search warrant when the suspect actually uh, came back onto the property and a traffic walk stop was conducted by a member of the Georgia State Patrol and a, a sheriff's deputy. And Downs was taken into custody without incident at that time. Okay, so he didn't really put up much of a fight or anything like that that you know of? He did not. Okay. Um, and so as far as, you know, what, what would you like the public to know about, you know, you did say it was a road rage incident. What would you like the public to know? I, I think it's important, again, to point out that, that it does appear isolating to be just an instance of road rage. I don't want to downplay that too much. Anytime there's gunfire, it's serious. But the initial reports were the, this was possibly an active shooter on the bypass just shooting at passersby. And, and now what we're learning is the, the facts don't necessarily support that. Serious in nature but it's not to the level of uh, uh, something that every citizen should be concerned about. The suspect is in custody and it, it appears to be an isolated incident. Okay. And, if, um, and I'll, I'll just kind of ask you, um, you know, since there are so many things like this going on in the news now because of you know, North Carolina, things like that, do you think that may have contributed to why it was called in that way? It's like a heightened state? That's completely possible. I haven't had a chance to review all the reports. There were so many passers-by that called this in and, and witnesses are involved. We're still, in fact, gathering statements from witnesses at this time. Uh, so just the sheer volume of it uh, may have led to some of it initially. Okay. And was anyone, were, were there any victims or was anyone injured? There are no injuries that have been reported this time. Uh, it appears that the only damage that we received was to the 18-wheeler, uh, and there are several holes in the camper or the, excuse me, the, uh, the trailer portion of that. Okay. You have to cut that. Okay. No, that's fine. Um, is there anything else you can tell us about, uh, like you guys getting ready to wrap up all that kind of stuff right now, I assume? We're still conducting the search at this time. We're, we're gathering evidence and, and hopefully we'll be wrapping up here uh, shortly.